The IDF and Israel are known for many things. Creativity, ingenuity, flexibility. But at the top of the list is bravery. Being able to face impossible odds and come out on top is still one of Israel's greatest strengths. At the forefront of showing the courage of Israel's people is the IDF's Paratroopers Brigade. Before we get into the video, if you are military, law enforcement, or are a civilian with a high level of tactical gear knowledge, you can apply to Agilite's gear testing program. Selected applicants receive product samples, videos, or questionnaires regarding gear or concepts still in development, free of charge. Click the link in the description below to apply. Now, back to the video. The origins of paratrooping date back more than a century. In the First World War, as airplanes evolved into useful tools for combat and delivery, the idea of sending a large amount of troops and supplies to an area otherwise unreachable was enticing to say the least. The first use of paratroopers in combat on a large scale was during World War II, as they were often used in surprise attacks to seize strategic targets behind enemy lines. By this point, almost every large military power had at least one paratrooper brigade, and in 1949, Israel added their own brigade to the mix. Since then, the Israeli Paratroopers Brigade have taken part in almost all of Israel's wars and operations. The brigade and its subsequent companies and units were considered to be the elite of the IDF's infantry units, being sent on the toughest and most dangerous missions. Some of their operations have even shaped the history of Israel and the Middle East. For example, it was the 55th Paratrooper Company that captured the Temple Mount in Jerusalem during the Six-Day War in 1967. In Operation Entebbe, one of the greatest and most successful hostage rescue missions of all time, the rescue team was made up of mostly paratroopers, who played a vital role in the rescue of Israeli citizens being held hostage. In 1956, in the Suez War, six companies composed of 356 Israeli paratroopers parachuted for the first and only time in IDF combat history into Egyptian territory in Sinai. The Mitla Pass battle was an especially tough operation, as the relatively small unit fought over a thousand Egyptian soldiers. This and countless other missions and operations have shaped not only what it means to be a paratrooper, but what it means to be a combat soldier in the IDF, as the paratroopers have been recognized as the image of bravery. This is symbolized by the fact that the brigade is also trained in traditional parachuting to this day despite the fact that the IDF admits that with advancing technologies, static line parachuting is a thing of the past, as it is much easier to get many soldiers from one place to another quickly with helicopters or other newer infiltration techniques. So why do they still practice jumping out of a cargo plane at 150 miles per hour and 400 feet above the ground? It is to instill in the spirit of the paratroopers the ideology of bravery they need to find in themselves for the IDF and for Israel. Every symbol and distinction of the brigade leads back to this ideology of bravery. The unit's insignia is the flying snake, a symbol taken from the Bible quote, For out of the serpent's root shall come forth a viper, and his fruit shall be a fiery flying serpent. The quote represents how the paratroopers can be put anywhere and strike at their opponents viciously. Their iconic red maroon beret and shoes, taken from the British Army's paratroopers, has been passed down from the Israeli paratroopers to subsequent SF units like Sayeret Metkal, Duvdevan, and many other of Israel's elite units, many of who start their basics and advanced training in the paratroopers. Since their inception, the paratroopers' brigade were and still are a vital component of the IDF and Israel's principles. Their continued existence and missions have been the ideal symbol of Israel's bravery and courage. For more videos on Israeli special forces and their gear, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget, if you are military, law enforcement, or are a civilian with a high level of tactical gear knowledge, you can apply to Agilite's gear testing program. Selected applicants receive product samples, videos, or questionnaires regarding gear or concepts still in development, free of charge. Click the link in the description below to apply.